<laughs> hey, Ride Utah, Kevin Mortensen here. Hey, our numbers are looking really good. Thank you all for watching our videos. I really appreciate it. I love not having to do makeup before I jump in front of a camera. That's the best part of leaving terrestrial television <laughs> and the heavily edited fake versions of regular television. I can come on here and make some mistakes and we're just, we're just doing it real. Today we're talking about the new education piece that the DNR is requiring all users of public lands, all motorized users of public lands in Utah to take before you head out. This law took effect on January 1st of this year. I'm still finding people who haven't heard about it. I'm hoping this piece, this video, will, will serve as an education piece for those people so that they don't get caught not having it. At the end of the video, I'll tell you why we're doing it. But let's take a look at what it takes to take the course. I went on with my computer. I took some screenshots. And I'm showing you step by step how to do it. It's super easy and super fast. It's not going to take a lot of your time. So let's jump into that. Okay, so all I'm doing is on my iPhone, I'm opening up my search function and I'm typing in Utah OHV education course. That's bringing up this tab. I'm going to click on it and that's going to take me right to the page in the DNR's website that I need to access in order to find the education course. There it is. So you take it and you click on either Spanish or English. I don't know what to tell you if you're Russian. I apologize. We got it in Spanish. We got it in English. But you click on it and that's going to open up this dashboard that is an overview of the entire course. And as you can see, nothing that is out of line, right? It's all pertinent information. So we're going to go down. We're going to scroll down through the screen here, reading it. And here's our intro talking about the importance of off-highway vehicle safety. Who can argue with safety, right? So down at the bottom, we're going to start, we're going to enter our information. My name is John Doe. Everybody knows me. I'm 1234 Anywhere Street. Don't send any mail to that. Type in my zip code because I obviously forgot to do that when I was prepping the screenshot. And then I'm going to go down and push next. And that's going to take me right into the course right down to the next tab in that dashboard that you saw when you opened up the course. So we'll scroll down back into the safety helmet, gloves and goggles, uh, be alert, things that, that are illegal to do, talking about mufflers and stuff. We're going to click on this video. It's only a couple of minutes long. We're going to watch it. I won't watch the whole video here. I'll just give you an idea of what it looks like. These are, are fun, informative videos that you and your kids are really going to enjoy. And so I highly encourage you to watch them. But we're going to go ahead and just see, give you a taste of it, right? We're going to stop it here. And then a test that we've taken the video, that we watched the video. And we're going to go to answer some questions. See, this is not hard. This is really easy stuff. And look, you cannot fail this test. True or false? Alcohol and or drugs can impair your ability to operate. I click false and it won't even let me go to the next question. So I switch it to true. And sure enough, I pass the test. Hallelujah. Actually, there's about 15, 20 more questions. We're going to go through those. We're going to get to the end of the course. It only took me literally three minutes. Literally. I didn't watch the videos this time though. We're going to confirm our submission. And then I'm going to click on this link here. And open up a copy of the certificate. I have an iPhone. It's really easy here. And then I'm going to format that certificate into a photo. Screenshot. Format. And then I'm going to save it as a photo. And now I have it every time I head out. Plus, it's recorded at on the DNR's website. There you go. It's that simple. Now... If you're like me, 
you've been riding your whole life. And so you're asking yourself, why does the state need me to take a mandatory education piece? Well, I'm like you. I hate the government telling me what to do. I can't stand it. But when it comes right down to it, numbers don't lie. And there were huge problems on public lands the last few years. The metrics people, the analytics people, the number counters all came to the state and said, there are a few things that if everybody knows, statistically, we will see a massive decline in problems on public lands. Those things are included in the course. They may sound ridiculous, but they're going to work. And as of June of this year, we've seen a huge improvement in the way the public interfaces with public lands. And I believe it's because the analytics aren't lying. Anyways, thanks for subscribing to Ride Utah TV. We really appreciate it. Like it, share it, tell your friends about it. If you have a video that you'd like us to air, send it to RideUtahTV at gmail.com and we'll take a look at it. Anyways, friends, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.